cat lady get some mail? Oh no, she's outside. Oh no. Do not look at me, woman. I do not want to talk to you. She knows I'm here. Okay, whatever. Whatever, let's just do this really fast. Hey guys, so today we are playing Lake, which is an interesting game to me. Because it's rated M, and uh, it just seems like a really peaceful game, so I'm not really sure why it's rated M. It said that it has some drug references, and uh, I think the other one was language. So, but anyway, this is supposed to just be like a relaxing game, so yeah, again, I'm not sure why it's rated M. Um, I should say, I did start playing the game, and then the recording messed up, so see, 25 minutes. Um, so that kind of sucked, so I'm going to have to start a new one, because the recording messed up, which is, seems to be a common theme in my first videos and series lately, so, anyway, let us start, this is a very peaceful game from what I played, uh, I got to the point where you start delivering packages and stuff, um, I realized that the people of Providence Oaks are kind of mean. Hey, my boss is an asshole, which you'll see in a second. It's funny how a program designed to help organize your life. Is the reason why I can't be at the Labor Day party. But I'm glad we made the deadline. And I'm glad I can now spend two stress-free weeks in good old Providence Oaks. So she has a weekly diary. I didn't realize Hello? that before. There it is, Steve. I thought she was just uh, emailing somebody. I didn't wake you up. I just came home and was wondering if everything worked out all right. Hi, Steve. Yes, we made the deadline. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, I feel so bad you couldn't make it. Hope you guys had a nice Labor Day party. Oh, yes. I mean, the band was great, and Mike fell in the pool. <laughs> oh, and then Roy got really sick. No, wait, Brian. And then he fell in the pool too. And he, no, Roy. Uh, wait. Ah, well, I'll tell you all about it at work tomorrow morning. Well, <laughs> afternoon. I, I won't be there for two weeks, remember? Oh, wait. Yeah. But, uh, but do you really have to? <laughs> two weeks is a lifetime. Yeah, Steve, I really have to. But I will continue testing for at it. Oh, okay. Right. Awesome. Um,. You know, I better get some sleep now. My plane leaves early in the morning. Okay, Meredith. Have a wonderful flight. I, I'll talk to you soon. Sorry if you guys heard that in the background. I'm going to make the And the living room floor was making some weird sound. Thanks so Province much for picking me up, Mr. September Coleman. 1st, 1986. Mr. Coleman? Please, just call me Frank. We're colleagues now, after all. Well, okay, Frank. Thanks so much for making time for me on Labor Day. No problem, Meredith. Postal workers always have each other's back. Your dad helped me dozens of times whenever I was in a bit of a pickle. Well, I hope I can fill his shoes. He hardly ever missed a day. I'm sure you'll do great. You know what? While we're en route, why don't we deliver some mail in our beautiful little lake town? And show me the ropes? Sure. All right then, get ready to roll. All right. Yeah, this is, it's kind of, Meredith looks like she's pretty young, but she has, like, wrinkles on her eyes. And here comes music. And she also has, like, an old woman voice, so it's all very odd. But yeah, this game is very relaxing. This Takes place in Oregon, so. It's always more beautiful than I remember it. I don't think I'll ever get tired of driving around it. And there's our first stop. Okay, sir, what's the plan? Delivering mail is like a walk in the park with mailboxes. Take this bag, walk to the mailbox, and insert the mail. So what do we do? We literally just put the mail in the mailbox, woman. That's all you gotta do, like this. Like that. Sorry we're closed. I guess at this point, gas stations weren't open 24-7. Our gas station, our gas station, nothing too difficult, or right? I don't. I think I should be able to face the challenge. <laughs> I bet. Didn't you go to MIT? Yeah, I left here from Massachusetts uh, 22 years ago. That's how should old I am. Should we get a job in computers then? 
That's really booming right now. Well, actually, I'm. Uh... Hold that thought. We just arrived at our next address. I am it's working in computers. This time, so you'll have to get it out of the back. And I hate it. Uh, let's get the mail out the back of the truck. Open the hatch. Open the hatch. 103 High Street. This must be a fun street. Gonna bring the package up to the front door. And ring the doorbell. And that's not the doorbell. That right, was the window. I'll leave it on the doorstep. I'm calling it a day. Alright. Also, it does, I don't, to me at least it doesn't look like that makes her walk faster, but I, maybe she does? I don't know. You're getting the hang of it. So, where were we? Computers. Should I buy one? Uh, well, it depends on what you want to use it for. Bookkeeping. I always make a mess of my tax returns. Can't a computer do that for me? Sure, there are programs for that, but you'll still have to put in some work yourself. I was afraid you were going to say that. I'll bug you about it another time. Our next address is right around the corner. Woo. My crow's feet can't wait to to get the package there. Ah, there's no place oh, wait, like no, this home. Is my house. Or my sure house. isn't. Can't wait to get home either. The Mets are playing the Giants. Oh, before I get out, what time do I start tomorrow? 7 a.m. sharp. Just check in at the post office. Okay, Frank. See you tomorrow. Adios. See you, Frank. Oh, so fun. <sighs> this is such a nice house. They got a dog, I assume. That's why they got a dog house. And then a tire swing. Weiss residence, Monday afternoon. Hi, Meredith. I just wanted to let you know that Dad and I landed safely. <sighs> the Florida weather is. All they said it would be. I'll call again soon. Oh, oh, one more thing. The freezer's stuffed with food, and there's blueberry pie in the fridge. Bye. Meredith, it's Steve. I didn't get the chance to say it earlier, but thanks so much for being a trooper. I know you had other plans for Labor Day weekend, but nailing the deadline for added 87 could very well be the most important milestone in our company's history. Enjoy your well-deserved time off. Don't get too used to it. Just kidding. Or am I? See. Uh, I'll talk to you later. You can go fuck yourself, buddy. Because I'm still working. I'm just a delivery man. A woman. I'm a delivery woman. Tuesday, September 2nd, morning. Good morning, Meredith. Ready for your first day? Uh, Good nice. morning, Frank. Ready to rock. It's a great day to be on the road. I already filled up the mailbag in the truck, so you're good to go. Oh, I forgot to tell you. There's a map in the cabin, in case you get lost. Thanks, I'll probably Thanks. need that. I'll probably need that. Even though it's like literally just a circle road. So now I get to deliver the mail myself. Don't you need like a license to deliver mail? Like, I, I, maybe in the 80s they just didn't let you like get in a mail truck, but... I don't know. Maybe not. Alright. Uh, I'm not really sure what the address to the general store is, so I'll have to come back there after I deliver all the packages. That's what I was doing before the game, like, did whatever it did and crashed or whatever, so. Hey, uh, I'm gonna deliver some. I remember this is the old Sugarman place, but some mail. the envelope says McGill. Must have moved away. I wonder if there's anyone named Chuck that lives there. Look how nice these roads look. I'm Barely actually any cars. enjoying this. And we just started and you're enjoying yourself. You delivered one letter. Shout out to all my delivery people out there. That, I'm, it must be fun. I mean, I wouldn't think it'd be too stressful unless like you wrecked a car or something. You know? So. I feel like it'd be pretty fun. Maybe I'll be a delivery person. No, just kidding. I couldn't handle the stress of 
being next to this gorgeous lake all the time. Oh, I guess I am a delivery person right now. I get to live out my fantasies. And there's so Stan's diner. Person, but I was Wait, it's called Moe's Diner now? Front of the park. Uh, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, right. So we need the one for 500 Lake Road. What is this one? I also noticed before when I was playing that everybody in this town is driving a DeLorean. Like everyone is driving a DeLorean. So. Meredith Wise? As all going I live back and to the breathe. Future. Come here, hon. Uh, now, let me look at you. My, oh my. A few lines here and there. And the occasional gray hair. But by gosh, it's you, all right? Wow, Maureen, long time no see. Wow, Maureen, long time no see. I feel so old. Oh, don't be like that now. It suits you. Age only makes a person more distinguished, is what I always say. To the mirror. Now come here, tell me everything. Okay, okay. one quick drink then. One quick drink then. I know you're busy, huh? You know Little Bird told me all about your temporary mail job already. News goes around pretty quickly around here. So, coffee? Something stronger? I warn you, I will not take no for an answer. I told you I want a drink. It's like I'm 17 again, Maureen. In that case, you're welcome, honey. Two coffee coming right up. And one piece of blueberry pie, if I remember correctly. You had one almost every afternoon after school at one point. Oh, you know me too well, Maureen. Always have, always will. Ashley, one blueberry pie. Right, and right, Ashley, right. could you keep an eye on the bar for me for a bit? I'm gonna take my break now. You're a real trooper. Oh. Ashley? Oh, sweet Mary. What are you doing? Uh, is everything okay, hon? Yeah, something about her grunts. Oh, Tell me that they're not Lord affirmative. Have mercy. That did not sound good. That didn't sound good. Honestly! First the roof and now this? Ugh, that poor kid is like a disaster magnet. I'm sorry, Meredith. Looks like I've got my hands full for a bit. Next time, I want to hear everything, you hear? Uh, don't be a stranger now. Thank you, Maureen. Alright, hold on. I'm gonna fix my game real quick. Just to make sure it doesn't close like that again. Or like crash or whatever it's going on. And then I'll be right back. Okay, hey guys. I think that might have fixed it, hopefully. I don't know why, but it keeps giving me a notification that the game is about to close. Whenever I don't want it to. So. It's whatever. So. Alright, so let's continue our expedition in this amazingly graphic rated M game. I'm, I'm also breaking the rules. You can only drive on the left side of the road in a rated M game. So. Plants rated M. Uh, what the heck is going on with my car? Okay, it was like stalling or something. Like it was not going. Okay. So... Let's go off the beaten path a little bit here to deliver our next one. I'm such a good driver. Such a good delivery woman. Man. I'm amazing. Going into this neighborhood. About to give these people some packages. I guess this is the house. Oh. That I'm delivering to. No, it's not. What in the world am I doing? Yeah, what am, what am I doing? Okay, hold on, hold on. It's not this house. It's this house. Hey, don't hit me. 
Oh, it's a general store. That's a general store. Again, I don't really know what the package for that is because it doesn't tell me what the address for the general store is. It just says general store. So we have to wait until we deliver the rest of the packages before we can do that. So how's, how's you guys' day going? Are you guys enjoying this game? Are you guys enjoy the channel? Let me know down below if you would kindly. Um, I'm still a pretty young channel, you know. Uh, I only have like 40 subscribers. It makes me feel so famous. So. Alright, here we go. Finally, another delivery. Here's your mail. Here's your mail. Hope you enjoy it. Hope it's not any bills that will put you in crippling debt. Alright. Up next is this house right here. The cat lady. What's the address? 200 like road? Okay. I like how it tells you the address on the bottom, because I do not want to keep looking at the map. Well, hello there, big cuddly guy. See, this person's got a DeLorean as well. And a bunch of cats. Hopefully you ring the doorbell this time. You did, you didn't oh, ring the window. Oh, look, Genevieve, a new mailman. Hello there, what's your name then? What's your name then? Hi, Miss Jenkins, right? I'm Meredith. Meredith Weiss? Weiss, of course! You're Emily's girl, aren't you? This is Meryl Weiss, Genevieve. Meryl. She used to live in town years and years ago. Twenty-two years, to be exact. Ah, uh, yes. Who's a counting? long time ago. Has it been that long? A fifth of a lifetime ago. That's almost ago. Oh, two Genevieves ago. Or a whole Genevieve. Calm down, Genevieve. You're going to live forever. She isn't, but shh. You do remember me, don't you? She's a cat. I'm sure she wouldn't live to She looks like she's already contemplating the end of her life, to be honest. So. How could I forget Miss Mildred Jenkins? And her cats, of course. Seems like they've multiplied. Yes, I do like cats. Is that such a crime? Is that such a crime? So what if I have slightly more of them than I used to? Like Genevieve here, and Thomas, and Oliver. Anyway, did you have a package for me then? Yes, ma'am. I think it's a toy bear. With polka dots. I mean, it's shaped like one and feels plushy. Someone must think you need another animal in your life. <laughs> Bit of a nosy posy, aren't you? I know nosy? Frank would never feel up the packages. Why does he say it like that? Feel up the packages? Like I'm... Uh, well, you guys know what that means. I'm not doing that to your packages. I apologize. I didn't mean to pry, Miss Jenkins. Hmm. Well, it's probably another gift from my son. Still doing everything to get into my good graces, except actually drop by. Wonder why. I'm sure he means well. He's probably just busy. Hmm. That's what he says. That's probably what you say to poor Emily, too. Hey, anyway, hey. I won't keep you any longer. Run along, dear. Give Emily my best. Goodbye, Miss Jenkins. Genevieve. Meow. 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 All right. Let's continue our package delivering expedition. In a few days, I won't even need that map. Uh, I don't need it now. Don't need it now. I'll take up the spot like some people do and let me look like I'm getting gas. And then for five minutes, it's, it, the car's just gonna be there. It's gonna make whoever's next really what mad. What on earth did these folks order? Hi there. I've got some mail for this address. I don't know why Turn she up, says Frank. that. 
I'm Meredith Weiss. I'll be delivering your mail for a while. And Frank just gave you the keys to the goose? The goose? Yes, your white and wobbly van, duh. I'm Lori, I'm Providence Oaks mechanic. And I'm the one who keeps the goose running. Uh... Well, Thomas is my father. Does that count? Thomas! Yes, Thomas. that truly counts. My father has been teaching me since the day I was born. There is no one better in P.O. than me. And I have to get back to work now. But I suppose you may drive the goose. On one condition. If there's ever anything wrong with it, you bring it back to me, yes? All right. All right, I promise. No Good. There. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Uh, did no Frank tell you about the radio? No. It currently only receives the local station. Plus, sometimes it cuts out altogether. If that happens, just give it a big old bang on the dashboard and that should fix it right up. I'm mm. working on it, I promise. Okay. Thanks, Lori. No problem, Miss W. All right. Okay. Um, so I'll be right back again because for some reason the game keeps wanting to close. Uh, so yeah, I'll be right back. All right. Hey guys. So I don't know. I guess we're just gonna have to deal with that. I don't know why it keeps doing that. It's kind of annoying. But we can turn on the radio now. What it keeps doing is it keeps like booting me back to the PlayStation menu, and I don't like it. So, we're just gonna listen to these tunes and forget that it's doing that. I think it's a bug with the PlayStation, I don't think it's a bug with the actual game. So. Where was Bear Creek again? Bear Creek. If I got any people from Alabama, then you guys probably know about Bear Creek. Swamp, the, the haunted swamp there, or supposedly haunted swamp there. Uh, oh my gosh. Oh, this is tight. Um, oh, right, Bear Creek, near the old lumber yard. My dad took me there whenever I was a kid. Or not a kid, I was actually, it was actually like five or six years ago. But I screamed my head off, because he'd, he'd, he'd pranked me, because he turned off the car. I mean, it seemed like There's the car had lost face. power. So, yeah, I'll tell you the story in a second. Yes, indeed. As of today, I'll be delivering the mail. Great. I'm Robert. Nice to meet you. Likewise. I'm Meredith. And here's your mail. Thanks. I better open this right away. Oh, what the... That doesn't sound good. Oh, no, Robert. What happened? That's what it sounds like. Bullcrap. Freshly baked bullcrap. Hey, the sound can't be worse than the smell. I'm sorry, but I have to take a better look at this. Have a nice day. See, that's what I was talking about. These bills are messing up people's lives. A man probably went to, you know, the hospital to get, like, a... I don't know, like, his freshly baked bullcrap crap checked out because he thought it looked kind of weird. And now... Ah! That's, like, the first dent I put in the car. Well, not... Obviously, it's not actually a dent, but... Anyway, the poor guy's got to deal with bills and stuff now. Oh, so let's go back to the general store. I do wish... This is not Main Street. There's no way this street is called Main Street. Oh, there's a deer. Y'all see that deer? Oh, and I was telling you about uh, my... Dad took me to Bear Creek Swamp. Yeah, so he took us out there because there's like, you know, it's supposed to be haunted. And this man turns the car off. He turns the car off and acts like the car lost power because of what was going on. Kind of mean. Oh, this is close to where I had my first kiss. Oh, Meredith. Meredith having some hot memories. Anyway, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, anyway, he still swears to this day that the car actually did turn off. But, I, don't know. I believe in the supernatural a little bit, but I don't know if I believe in the supernatural that much. Anyway, let's return to the fact that this game is rated M for some reason. Like, kids, this is what you're missing out on. If your parents don't let you play M rated M games, this is what you're missing out on. Like, how could you hate this? I'm driving on a bridge in the middle of probably the most beautiful part of Oregon. 
I mean, uh, is Oregon even like real? I don't know. But I've, not, I've never met anybody from Oregon. Met some Oregon fans. Uh, one of my very best friends in the whole world is an Oregon football fan, but I don't know, Oregon sports fan in general. But he's never actually been to Oregon. All right. Uh, is it this house? I don't know, I can't tell. Where am I supposed to go? Is it supposed to... Yeah, okay. I see. It's supposed to be right here. I suppose it's the only package we have left. 207 Main Street. I guess I should have known because this is like the only one that's on Main Street. So, but Apparently that dirt road is also Main Street. I don't know who... The, I guess that Dexter looking lumberjack might be... Making people think that's Main Street? I don't know, but... Uh, you want me to give this to you, or... Knock on door. Can I help you? Hello, here's today's mail. Mm, no one town. Your face looks familiar. Well, I grew up here, and then left for college 22 years ago. Thank you, Karen. 22 years ago, back when they called me Nancy Sinatra, instead of Nancy Reagan. So, now you're back, huh? Uh, I know what kinda, it's like. It's kinda... Sound like you're shading your husband or ex-husband. You do? It's best not to feel bad about it. Only a few people ever really make it. I wonder if it's gonna rain today. It's been raining a lot lately. Oh, so Karen's kind of sad about her life. It's kind of sad. Apparently she hates her husband and she wishes that she didn't come back. But we aren't coming back. We're actually a successful computer person. We came back here for the to help our dad. We took over his job for two weeks. Yeah, I wish. Why can't other jobs do that? Why can't they just? Why can't a teacher just be like, or like a I don't know, a, a teacher, a, a cook, just be like, oh yeah, my my dad's coming and taking my shift. Is this normal for male people? Is there a male person in the audience? Is this normal? Vice residents, Tuesday evening. Hello? Hi, Meredith. It's Mom. How are you? How's the job? Hi, Mom. I'm doing great. Best job you could ever it's have. so relaxing to be outside and drive around. Oh, that's great to hear. Dad says it's strange not having to drive the truck anymore. Uh. Must be strange for you as well. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing great. I'm reading lots of books in the sun. I also went on a beach walk and I saw baby turtles hatch. Nice. Oh, I'm almost out of coins. I'm calling from a bar and dad's ordering a margarita again. <laughs> Talk soon. Sounds like they're having fun without me. Um, you know what? I like to read. Wait, what's the agenda? What does that mean? Oh, do I have, like, goals I could do? The Countess and the Carpenter? <laughs> really, Mom? Oh, well, let's give oh, it a Oh, that's read. why it's rated The Countess in. and the Carpenter. Oh, God, no. Chapter 1. A more disastrous entry to her new home was scarcely imaginable for Cecilia Schultenbrow. The left wheel of her carriage collapsed right as she entered through the gates of the magnificent Raubenstauben estate. Raubenstauben. She tumbled upside down, hurt her head, and worse... Her hat was ruined. Suddenly, she heard the deep, strong voice of a young man. Are you all right, madam? Yeah, I think we can assume what that book's about. So that's why it's rated in. Wednesday, September 3rd, morning. All right, I guess, I guess we can do another round of mail. Good morning, Providence Oh, Oaks. nice. We're starting the day as we always do with a P.O. positive or pet P, followed by the weather. P.O. positive or pet P. Dale, what's it gonna be? It's a positive all the way, Jack. I went to Moe's Diner yesterday, and I don't think I've ever had blueberry pie that tastes Well, she didn't give me my blueberry pie yesterday. Mm -hmm. Thank Got too you distracted much, with Dale. the burning down. That makes me want to get a piece right now. But the weather's first. 
will start off sunny with a few clouds later today. How about some music now? Yes, yeah, music. Alright, so I guess it's this house. We're again on New Street. Hey, Mom and Dad have new neighbors. Ziegler, huh? Ziegler. Don't think they ever mentioned them. Oh, these are back in the days when they, people actually talked about their neighbors. Now people don't even walk outside to talk with their neighbors at all. Kind of sad. Cat lady gets some mail. Oh no, she's outside. Oh no. Do not look at me, woman. I do not want to talk to you. She knows I'm here. Okay, whatever. Whatever, let's just do this really fast. Meryl, dear! Dang it. So glad you could come by. Oh, it's quite the emergency. What's wrong, Miss Jenkins? It's poor little Mortimer. <laughs> Mortimer? He's fallen ill, I think. One minute he was full of life, the next he, well, he just wasn't. He's almost He's catatonic. Almost catato Sorry, heard it when I said it. <laughs> Please, Meredith. <laughs> Whoa, that was a joke? And take poor Mortimer to Mr. Lackey. He runs the bait shop by the lake. He'll know what to do. Why would he know what to do? Sure, Fine. I'll get right on it. Here, little kitty, come on. Wonderful. Be nice to Meredith Mortimer. Don't shed too much hair in her van now. Great. Bye, Miss Jenkins. Bye, Meredith. See you soon, Mortimer. Mortimer. <laughs> Great. Now I have to take care of this freaking cat. What's up with me and cat games lately? Alright, well, we're delivering our mail first. Alright. That's fine. That's my objective. That's what's important in my life right now. So you're gonna have to wait, cat. It's like she was waiting. She knew I was coming today and she was just like, Arr, I'm gonna get her to take my cat to the bait shop. Because that's what normal people do whenever their cats to take them to bait shops. Alright, so now I gotta like carry you around with me all the time. Oh, I can't. Ah, oh, you stupid cat. Fine. So I have to take you to the vet first. Okay. Whatever. Or the bait shop. Not the vet. Sorry, that would be a normal thing to do. People in Oregon don't have vets. They have bait shops. Sorry, there's a one from Oregon, like, in the, uh, in the, uh, in my audience, I'm sorry. I, I will, I'm sure that's a lovely state. If it's real, I'm sure it's lovely. I mean, look at that mountain, dude. How could I be in a bad state? That's what we should take you, cat. You'll feel better just standing on top of that mountain. That must be the bait shop right there, I think. According to my map. Just gotta get over there. Just gotta get over there. Did I already run something over? I don't know. Ah! Oh! Sorry, Mortimer. That's what I get for turning around. Alright, so we gotta take this road. This janky road. Guess we just park right here. Alright, let's go, buddy. So these people ask you to do stuff for them while I'm literally doing my job. That lady probably has nothing to do all day, and she's like, Ow! Meryl will do it for me. No, Meryl does not want to be doing this for you, woman. No. That's okay. I've started to like cats, you know. Okay, so where do I go? Looks like there's a sign on the door. Uh, hello? Anybody here? Oh, there's somebody. Hello, Mr. Bait Shop Man. Mr. Mackey, I know Mr. you're Mackey. close, but... What? I'm Meredith Weiss. Yeah, yeah, Meredith Weiss. 
Thomas kid. All right, Walrus, I remember man. you running around the lake when you were yay high, getting into all sorts of trouble. What can I do you for? Mildred Jenkins tells me you know a lot about animals, and, well... Oh, hi there, little fellow. What's your name? Apparently it's Mortimer. Well, pleased to meet you, Mort. Mort. Hmm. He's a little sluggish. Has Millie been feeding him cupcakes again? I'm sure she has. Cupcakes? Had. I hope not. <sighs> Leave him with me. I'll put him on a diet today. Maybe even catch him a fish if they're biting. With any luck, he should be up and running in the morning. Thank you, sir. By the way, how are you? I'm nice. fine, I'm fine. You go back to running around that lake, Miss Weiss. Okay. Bye, Mr. Mackey. Bye, Mortimer. I did not sound like a nice cat. Man, where did Orangey go from Stray, bro? This is probably, like, the good ending for Stray. Well, I, I, there's only, like, probably one ending for Stray, right? Unless you find all the memories. But, uh... Yeah. Anyway, let us go deliver some mail. Some more mail. Hopefully, nobody asks me to do any favors for them. I'm a independent male woman. I do not like the poor man. Performing uh, extra tasks whenever I am meant to deliver the mail. Right, so we got. It. it looks like we got a lot of deliveries to go in this uh, little part of town, Main Street, is what this part of town is. So. All right, so. Now, Sal. Wish I could go way down south. In fact, we're way up in the north. Alright, right, so let's deliver some mail. Woo! Clipped through the mailbox because it was so sharp. Same handwriting as the one I delivered next door. I'm guessing party invitations? Perhaps. Interesting. We're probably weren't invited this time. We weren't invited to the Labor Day party, Steve. Ugh. As if I, you know, don't have a life. Labor Day is literally my favorite holiday, Steve. And you made me celebrate it by doing labor. You're a butthole. What is this? Yeah, pass me, butthole. Pass me! Uh, I assume it's probably this one. Because we are on Main Street. The Flick Shack. Uh, is this like a rental store? Ah, uh, I remember these. Welcome to the Flick Shack. Oh, How can I help you? Got a package for you, ma'am. Hold on, you're our new postal worker? Talk about not looking. Talk about Back to the Future back there. <laughs> is that a compliment? Why does everybody mean it? Trust me, town? it definitely is. Okay, oh, she's nice. Thank you then. Name's Meredith, by the way. Meredith Weiss. Angie, Eastman. So, what brings you to Providence Oaks? Uh, let's tell her my oh, life story. Grew up here, and now I'm back to do my dad a favor. Ah, I myself have been here for six years. And what brings you here? Didn't grow up here, came to do myself a favor. Hmm. Touche, Mrs. Eastman. Miss. Oh. So, how's business? It's... <laughs> it's booming. People in Providence Oaks sure like their movies. 
<laughs> I guess I it's I because do. there's That's not much else to do close. around here. Might as well watch a flick, right? Mm, you certainly have a lot of them. Choice is everything. Nothing quite tickles the imagination like the right movie at the right time. Hmm. Maybe I should watch more movies. Well, it was nice meeting you, Miss Eastman. Uh, call me Angie. And here, someone just returned this, and it should be right up your alley. The postman always rings twice? <laughs> My kind of humor. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know anything else about you, Mrs. Temporary Postal Worker. <laughs> Miss. But touche, Angie. Ah, so she doesn't have a boyfriend. All right. I'll check it out if I have the time. Take your time. This isn't exactly the most popular flick in the shack. And there's plenty of choice, regardless. Okay. Well, it was nice meeting you, Miss Angie. Same Miss here, Angie. Miss Meredith. I know someone I call Miss Angie. All right. I was talking about Back to the Future a second ago, and they, uh, there's Karate Kid. There's Ghostbuster. Ghostbusters. Oh, that's, this is not my car. I can't deliver mail. That's probably Angie's car. I was about to steal Angie's car. Alright, anyway. Uh, but it sounds like Miss Angie is, uh, not in a good place in her relationship life, her love life. And that's okay. That is a okay. Oh, we all find love, and sometimes you just gotta find it in the right places. Whether that's in a town like this in the middle of nowhere or what, I don't know. But that's a creepy guy. I think he, I have someone for him. Miss Jenkins. This is Pine Street. heavier than I thought. Man, I doubt it's heavy. Alright. Let's knock on this dope. Or ring the door. Again, I'm Commander glad Grace, touch the we have established communication with ground control. How do you wish to proceed? Tell them we've landed the rocket! Ground control, we have landed the rocket! We will now begin our experiments! Um, package for the Evans family? Just a minute, <laughs> Commander pretty. Grace. Permission to explore? Permission granted. Yep, we're the Evans family. Could I just take that real quick? I'm kind of in the middle of a lunar landing. Sure, here you go. <laughs> nice helmet, by the way. Why, thank you. I actually modeled it on the Apollo 11 crew outfit. Wait, what? Meredith? Guilty as charged. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. Who are you? What? For real? Y you don't recognize your old best friend when you see her? Wait a minute. Uh oh. Kay? Kay? And now I busted my colander. I knew opening the door in this thing was a bad idea. Uh, does this even matter? Wow, I didn't expect to see you here. That makes two of us. Got me there. You're Kay Evans now? Don't sound so surprised. But yes, I married Barry. Evans? I'm sure you remember nice. our high school star quarterback. Mom! Be right there, Commander Grace! Scanning for alien life forms. That's my little scientist back there. She's crazy about space travel, as you may have guessed, even after the whole Challenger thing. Oh, yeah. You married Quarterberry and had kids? I had no idea. Well, obviously, a lot can happen in 22 years. So. Time flies. 
So, I heard you were back in town for a while, from Maureen. That's right. I ran into her yesterday at the diner. Your Uncle Stan wasn't there, unfortunately. I must have just missed him. Nope. It's Moe's diner now. Like I said, a lot of things happened Aww. while you were away. Also, I work there now, at the diner. That's great. Maybe I'll drop by sometime. Yeah, we'll see. Ready what? for a liftoff! Listen, I'm sorry, good. but I don't no, really have time for this right now. Can't get stuck on the moon on my own, and I have to get ready for work. See you around, Em. <laughs> good to see you, Kay. Evans! <laughs> Commander Grace, hold up! You'll never guess what I just found. You can say that again. <laughs> um, it sounds kind of like you're a little jelly. Quarterberry. All right, we got two more things to deliver. So let's uh, get those things delivered. So, we're learning about a lot about this old scrappy town. Um, yeah, okay. this person's jaywalking. I probably should have ran them over. So, we just met our best friend from a long time ago. That sounds like she's moved on quite well. She's a good thing. I guess. And it also sounds like Meredith is a little bit jealous of her. Of her, uh, because she was talking about, like, how, just the way that she said Evans. I don't know if she actually liked Barry, but I think she's jealous of the fact that she's married anyway. Yeah. Makes sense. Or maybe it doesn't make sense, but I don't know. Alright, this kind of sucks because it looks like the two things that we have to deliver are, like, as far apart as you can be from each other. Oh yeah, it's because I had to take that stupid cat to the bait shop. More. Oh wait, I guess I'm supposed to go to the next one. Put it in there. That's an old looking mailbox. Mm, I lost the love. Alright, so let's just let's look at the map. Oh my god, it's all the way over there. What is that? The woods. It's all the way over there. Okay. Nice. Oh, gotta go all the way around this beautiful light to get there. That person is swerving a lot. Yeah, it looks like they're swerving. Not even getting passed by the mail truck. Yeah, yeah. Not even getting passed. Yeah. You're going so slow, I had to pass you. Oh, West Lake Road. Aren't they all Lake Roads? Technically. There must be more! Yeah! There must be more! I feel like Meredith's kind of feeling this right now. We're almost there. I think we're almost there. Please. Oh yeah, we are. Sorry. Uh. 
to another gas station delivery? No, it's not from motel delivery. I think up the motel. Alright. Yeah. I'm gonna park right here. Perfectly. Alright guys, I'll be right back. Just to make sure the game doesn't close. But yes, I'll be right back. Alright guys, hopefully that's the last time I have to do that in this video at least. But uh, let's deliver this package to this motel. The Oregon Trail Motel. Man, we will clock out for the day. Both in the video and in the game. Alright. Somebody's playing games. Hello, sir. Parcel for you. Well, I should be working. Um, I hope I'm not disturbing, but here's a parcel for you. One minute, I'm busy. Um. Okay, sir. This guy's a butthole. Is that a parcel for me? Yeah, I just said that. Yes, sir. Oregon Trail Motel. You can just put it on the counter. All right. Have a nice day. Okay. You see, I always do my job. You know, I'm never playing games. I'm never, you know, taking cats to the bait shop. You know, not on company hours. This guy deserves a reprimand. I mean, what, it's 1986? What, what game could he possibly be playing up to that, that addicting? Not I know there were a lot of addicting games back then, but... I don't know. I don't know. Okay, what's the fastest way back? Well, either way, we're like all the way over here. So, gotta go all the way back around the lake to get back to the post office. We're just gonna listen to some nice tunes on our way over there. Goodbye. All these songs are so sad. I used to think our Spanner Dam was just as big and famous as Hoover Dam. Then I visited Hoover Dam. Well, I think wherever we come from, you know, things just seem a little bit more famous there. And they mean a lot more to us then. Things like the Hoover Dam could ever. I think that's what this game's gonna be about, you know. Enjoying going back home. After being away for so long. But sometimes that's just where we're supposed to be. We're just supposed to end up back home. I think everyone can relate to that in a sense, you know. Maybe not physically, but mentally. Like, whenever you're home, like, with the people that you love sometimes, like, it just feels good. And I think that's the message this game's trying to send. I'll be in a very graphic, rated M way. Oh. So not everyone will be able to experience this game because it's so violent and graphic, but, you know, that's okay. I don't know what that building I just passed was. That has a marker, so. Uh, in the next video, I might look at that, because I do need to end this video, but I want to end it after I get back. Or the post office. Hey, hey! Do not hit me. Why did you hit a car? I don't know. Maybe we'll test that out in another video. Or maybe I'll do it on accident. For the wedding ring. Alright, end work day. Weiss residence, Wednesday evening. That's what today is. There it is, hi. Oh, oh hi Steve. Steve. How are you? Busy as two peas. Added 87 is really getting there. Hey, listen, you've got plenty of time, right? Uh. Yeah, there's not much to do around here. Awesome, I need a favor. <laughs> I sent a bunch of files your way. It's the retail pitch for added 87. 
It's good, but not great. It needs your magic. Do you think you can add it? Huh? <laughs> Maybe. Uh... <laughs> nice one, Steve. When will the files arrive, and when do you need the feedback? Ah, oh, well, it should arrive tomorrow, and I need it yesterday. I could just send it to your post office, right? Yep, can't miss. Awesome. Mail it back to me as soon as possible. Oh, Priority mail. Thanks uh -oh. so much. Oh, I gotta run. Okay, Steve. Oh, one final thing. Now let this marinate. <clears throat> add it, 87, add anything you like. It's fancy, right? Yeah, don't, don't tell me now. Uh, I got a jet, bye. He's <sighs> got such a butthole, bro. How do you talk to someone while they're already working at a different job? Yeah, we're gonna watch The Postman Always Rings twice. All right, well, let's watch this. Thursday, September 4th, morning. Oh, Steve's parcel. And a note from Tess. Hey, Em. Hope you're doing well. Steve told me you'd want to read through this monstrosity. Not sure if you really said that, but have a great time there anyways. Take care. Tess. When am I ever going to have time to do this work, Steve? Alright, so we're going to stop the video there. I hope you guys enjoyed the, uh, uh, this game's interesting in a weird way. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys are having the bestest days ever. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Trickstar, out.